In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a GIF similar to this, an animated picture that you see normally on Facebook and some of these websites. So you need a program called ShareX. You can download it free at GetShareX.com and click download and then it should start downloading and it's fairly small. I already have it installed. You, once it's download, install it and you'll get a program. And it looks like this. It has uh, many features. And when we go into capture, we can actually make a, a screen recording for GIF animation. If we go into application settings, Nope. Um, task settings, then we go into screen recording, you'll see the GIF FPS, the how many frames per second is going to record uh, the GIF. So this is where we change how uh, quickly the GIF is going to render. So I find a frame 5 frames is fairly quick. You can put it all the way up to 30, but the more you do, that's 30 frames per second. So 5 is good for me. And that was located in task settings, screen recording, GIF. So now that we have that, we have to find a website. So if we go here, we see that this is animated. But I don't want to copy this. I could just download it. I want to go to a website that has live uh, people. So like uh, Twitch t Twitch or a gaming website or anything you want to make a live GIF from, you can actually do that. So I'm picking a website called Jack's House. So if I open up my program and I go to capture and I go to GIF, screen recording GIF, it's going to say where do I want to record. So I make a box and once I make the box it's going to start recording. So there we go, it's recording right now. And... Stop. And then we see it's loaded right there. And then when we check it, this is the playback and frame rate. So... I think I could do a little bit better. So, you can actually set up hotkeys as well. So, if I go into hotkeys, I can see that I have screen recording right here. But you have to set that. So, I'll uh, set it up again. So, I go to add. This comes up and you're like, well, what do I sh do here? So, you have to scroll. And then you have to go to screen recording and then GIF. You can do set up a couple different uh, options here use active window but an active window may mean the whole window itself so this whole window right here you might actually capture that by accident so if I want to do a particular spot on the screen I have to choose this one and then pretty much that's it and then we pick what key we want and I'll say uh, star on my numpad. So now that I come back here, if I just press star on my numpad, yeah, it just popped up so I can start recording a screenshot from here. So on your mark, get set, and start recording. Out and I'll check it to see what my GIF look like. Oh, here, we go. Oh, here it is. So let's see when it rolls back around. Oh, I think it just did. Gonna reach out. Yeah. 
So I'll do that again. So oh, it's as easy as using the screen capture tool right there. And then you can uh, also capture all different things if you'd like. There's so many things. <laughs> 